In this video, I'll be comparing two popular DJ pools, BPM Supreme and Digital Music Pool, or as we'll refer to it in this video, DMP. In this video, I'll be looking at five main categories to do a fair and accurate comparison across the two. I'll be looking at price, extra features, the mobile app, organization of the site, and the music content. I'm gonna discuss all that today, as well as trying to keep the video under 10 minutes. All right, so let's start off with that first category, and that is price. Now, if you've seen videos on my channel before, or my other reviews, or comparison videos of DJ subscriptions and such, you will know that I always say I am cheap. And that still holds true. So for price, it's a little interesting because BPM Supreme offers two price tiers. They have a $20 a month tier that's going to apply to basically everyone. It basically gives you all the access to the music that you're going to need. And then they have the $30 a month price tier that's kind of like adding like more of an Apple Music aspect to the BPM Supreme catalog of music. So with that higher price tier, you get high quality streaming, you get the uh, recovery download feature, and some other little things. Personally for me, when I subscribe to BPM Supreme, I always subscribe at the lowest level, the $20 a month level, because I don't really need all those extra. And everything that I need is in that $20 a month level. Now, for DMP, you have one subscription level, it's $20 a month for all of their features. Granted, they generally have less extra features and things, which I'll talk about in a moment, but one thing that separates DMP from BPM is that they offer discounts for paying for, say, three months. So three months is $54.99 or $55. So if you pay for three months up front, you get $5 off the total of the three months. So if you're looking to save more money, that might be an option. So moving on to part two now, extra features that are included with your subscription. Now for BPM Supreme, your extra features are going to go up with your subscription level. So if you pay for $20 a month, you're gonna get a certain set of features. And if you pay for the $30 a month, you're gonna get a little bit more features. Like I mentioned that high quality streaming is available especially using the mobile app. So you do have that option of high quality streaming with BPM Supreme, but you have to pay $10 more a month. For me, that doesn't really seem worth it. Uh, price wise, I would have preferred that they made it like $5 extra a month because I don't really feel like the value is there with the extra $10 a month. Another extra that BPM Supreme offers is playlists. Now, I have not really gotten to take advantage of it because I don't pay for the $30 a month tier. But again, that's more of that Apple Music, Spotify type of integration into that $30 a month tier. Also, as far as extras, BPM Supreme really has DMP beat in this category because they give you the album covers for the most part to the songs that you download now. This is more of a recent update sometime in the past six months, they started giving you the actual album cover and not just the BPM Supreme logo on a white background as the album cover for tracks. Now, as far as Digital Music Pool or DMP, they don't really have any extras that are included. Their subscription is more straightforward. It's really just music online, and they actually don't have a mobile app, which leads me into the second part of this, which is the mobile app. Uh, BPM Supreme does have a mobile app. I did do a review of it. While it is a bit chunky, I will put a card over here for you to go see that if you'd like. Uh, it's an older video, it's a little bit slow, a little bit chunky, but feel free to go check that out. Uh, I'll also leave a link in the description. As far as BPM Supreme's mobile app, it's a very good mobile app. Uh, probably one of the best among ones among DJ subscriptions, although sometimes with the whole playlist feature, it can actually be a little bit hard to find music because you can search for music and it might be like listed as a song on a playlist, but it's not available on the subscription itself. So that can get a bit weird but it is always good to have the mobile app. It's something I personally use as a backup. If I don't have a song downloaded or something at an event, I'll usually just play it off of BPM Supreme's app on my phone. With DMP, you do not have that capability. They do not have a mobile app. It is strictly online. So if a mobile app is important to you, that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now we're moving on to the third topic of this video, which is organization of the music. Arguably one of the most important second to the actual music content that they have on the site. But with BPM Supreme and DMP, you're gonna get relatively the same organization. All of the tracks are set up relatively the same. When you look for a track, you're gonna see the different versions within that track. It's not like other subscriptions like 
DMS, which I did do a review of, make sure to check it out here, which show the different versions as like separate tracks with DMP and BPM, as you can see here, they both show one track and then the different versions. Now they have different ways of doing that. I personally prefer BPM Supremes because I think it's a little bit easier to see faster which track or which version that you're looking for because instead of being in a column the actual button that you would click to download says whether it's clean extended uh, intro dirty whatever it may be whereas you know dmp is a little bit more like the track and if you have multiple tracks then it'll show those and then it has like a little download button and columns of this is the intro this is the clean this is the dirty this is the instrumental and things like that. Also, as far as organization, although you may argue that this is a matter of extra features, BPM Supreme does have a light and dark mode option, whereas DMP does not have that. You're basically stuck on light mode forever. Uh, the light and dark mode does give you some options, especially if you're at night or at a gig and you're looking for music. Um, it's usually better to have it darker. I personally prefer the dark mode and the color scheme and everything. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier for me to find things with having the, that option. And last, but certainly not least, the most important thing that we need to talk about in this video is the music content. Let's first start by talking about clean and dirty edits, very, very important parts of a DJ subscription. BPM Supreme generally has clean and dirty edits of most songs, including songs that may not be popular. For some hip hop or rap songs that are less mainstream, you may find that they only have the dirty version and not a clean version. That's one problem I've run into sometimes. On DMP, you'll find that every song has a clean edit, which is great if you're a wedding DJ or a school dance DJ or something, but it's not great if you're a club DJ or you do a lot of Sweet Sixteens where your customers prefer to have the explicit versions of songs. So as far as which subscription is better, that's really gonna be up to what type of DJing you're doing. Now there's also another consideration here, which is of course the types of music that they have on the site and if they have all the mainstream music. Generally this is concerning across both sites because across mainstream music, you pretty much on any subscription you have are going to miss a song every couple months. For BPM Supreme, the song that's missing is Out West. It's very, very popular on the radio, at least in my area, and it's completely missing. Now, BPM Supreme has had problems with songs like this in the past. Generally, they're Travis Scott songs. One song that they didn't have for a very long time and still don't have today is No Guidance, which is one that DMP does have, and DMP also has Out West. When you're talking about having a wide variety of genres such as pop and mainstream, hip hop and rap, TikTok songs, EDM, uh, all the genres of EDM. BPM Supreme absolutely wins in that regard because especially as far as genres of EDM, they have a lot more music. For example, I'm showing you here a song that I wanted to look up because I wanted to download it. Uh, Grizztronics and I looked it up on BPM Supreme and BPM Supreme had it. And when I looked it up on DMP, DMP did not have it at all. Another note on the content is that surprisingly, DMP has more acapellas and instrumentals than BPM does. In the past, BPM Supreme had a lot more, but it seems like they're not focusing on it as much anymore. So there are certainly different markets for each of these sites. And that's what I'm gonna talk about now as we wrap up this video is which site is right for you and which site is right for me personally. Personally, I prefer BPM Supreme most months because most months I'm doing Sweet Sixteens, weddings, and clubs. And while I make more money at weddings, it's not very relevant that I have a ton of new music, especially songs like Out West are generally not things that I'm playing at a wedding. And generally the things that I'm going to be playing of mainstream music at a wedding BPM Supreme has. So for me, it's more important to be able to get the music that I need for the Sweet 16 
and not have to go to five different DJ subscriptions to get it. Now, the coronavirus has shaken up the industry completely, and this month I literally only have a Sweet 16, and that's if it still happens at this point. It should be because it's next week, but for me, this month, BPM Supreme is my choice subscription. Also, I like EDM genres, you know, various genres like dubstep and, you know, house music. Um, so for me to be able to have access to those is also an added bonus because I like to use it for DJing. I like to listen to it for my own purposes. Now, if you're a wedding DJ or a school dance DJ or something, and you really just need clean edits, then DMP may be the subscription for you. For me, if I was only going to be having a school dance this month, I would have gone the route of DMP because I know that they have the clean edits that are necessary for those school dances. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that the $10 extra a month subscription level on BPM Supreme is not really worth it for me or in my opinion for you. And that's because they don't have content like Out West. For me, I don't see any reason in paying $10 extra a month for not even getting an extra song that I really need for events that I, or at least that I think I'm gonna need for events that I'm gonna be DJing. So what I do instead is I prefer to use um, an Apple Music or Spotify subscription or something to supplement for those songs. Of course, it always also gives me that subscription to use for my own personal purposes. And I generally also use it as sort of a backup for either things that aren't on BPM Supreme or any other subscription and things that I don't have or don't have downloaded and I'll generally add them to my crate and try and play them off BPM Supreme. If they're not on BPM Supreme, then I'll just play them off of Apple Music. Apple Music is my choice. I have student Apple Music, so instead of being $10 a month, it's $5 a month. Again, that is up to you guys if you wanna do something like that, but I'd prefer to spend $30, or for me, it's really 25, so 20 on BPM Supreme or DMP, that one's up to you, and $5 a month or $10 a month on Apple Music or Spotify over having both BPM Supreme and DMP and paying $40 a month and still not getting certain songs like explicit edits of songs. So to wrap this up, finally, I personally prefer BPM Supreme, but it really is a close matchup and it's gonna depend on your DJ style and your personal preferences. If you're a wedding DJ or a school dance DJ or something like that, you might want to go with DMP. Whereas if you're me and you like to have explicit edits of songs and stuff, you might wanna go with BPM Supreme. I personally think all around BPM Supreme is a slightly better subscription, especially because you have that mobile app access, but that one's for you to decide. Let me know if you subscribe to either of these in the comments or if you're thinking about it. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button on my channel to stay up to date with new videos and new DJ subscription comparisons and reviews on my channel. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. That's gonna be it for this one. Until next time, peace.